Hey guys, and welcome back to Fallout. So, here's the thing uh, that happened. Okay, so I made a video um, that essentially covered a variety of topics, but I didn't talk for a while. Like, it's been like three weeks since I've actually like made a commentary because I, I got so backed up with editing that I had to just like go through all those videos and edit them. But then the byproduct of me doing that is me just being super out of practice, out of like conveying my thoughts. <laughs> so, here's what we're going to do. Instead of me showing you guys that video because I ended up editing it and I was just like oh my god this is just the cluster of so many words that nothing really makes sense and it's all over the place which is genuinely all my videos but anyways not the point of this video the point of this video was just to tell you what all that video had in the span of hopefully seven minutes instead of a 30 minute video with just all the shit in it so let's do it. So the gameplay you're going to be seeing is from that sitting, so it's a lot of me running around and all that stuff. So, yeah, half of it is me at my house just trying to tell you guys what happened. So, in the last video, I did mention that we were going to do the um, brother dance, paladin dance, uh, is kind of like quest chain. You know how each companion has their affinity, and each companion, when they get to a certain affinity rank, they will confide to you about something, tell you about their past, etc. Well, I wanted to condense that into one video. The problem is, is that in the sitting that I maxed out Brother Dance, I actually ended up getting rid of some footage, because uh, I need more space on my computer in order to record, in order for the game to run smoothly, you need to have a lot of space on your computer. So, what I ended up doing, is I ended up deleting videos. Turns out, the videos that I deleted were the videos that I archived um, a Brother Dance's uh, affinity chain. So what I have to do, I have to go back, load an old save to where Brother Dance, or pa sorry, Paladin Dance, not Brother Dance. Paladin Dance has not uh, got any sort of affinity gain, so he's pretty much just zero affinity. I can get all those awesome dialogue cues that he has and then show them to you guys. So that is going to take some time. So that will be coming out after this video, hopefully, if I can get that done tonight. Um, and then after that will be just the normal sitting that you guys are used to, you know, it's just playing through, um, Fallout, having a blast, um, but things have changed. You guys might see that my character is wearing different armor. Um, so what I did is essentially I told you guys last time that I kind of wanted to make my character look the way I wanted to make him look and not have him to be so dependent on armor. For instance, I don't want to be forced to wear a massive hunking, uh, armor piece just because it gives me great damage resistance. I don't like that. I like to make sure my character can look the way he he looks, but still have the same resilience, basically allowing it to open up the gateway for you to customize your character as you want to see it. Wait, boom, there we go. Slightly better lighting. Okay, cool. <laughs> Sorry. Um, so what I was saying was, um, I don't really like the fact that some games, uh, they do this and they make it so that certain armor you have to wear if you want to survive, which I don't like that. Um, and since I'm playing on PC, I can actually change that. So what I did is I took, um, medium armor and put them on my character. I ended up having to go into like dive into the wiki, uh, find out a bunch of console commands, how you can actually imprint legendary prefixes onto mods. So essentially I got all the clothing that I wanted my character to wear. Um, I added all of our legendary, uh, stats on it. Legendary stats, mind you, that I already got <laughs> to drop. So it's not like I was completely, I was cheating in the sense that I was just grabbing that legendary um, effect and putting it on another arm piece that was the same arm piece or that was the same armor piece. Ah, I'm, I've been talking for three days and it turns out it's just, maybe we should just show you guys the video. By we, I mean me. Unless there's someone else here, which I don't think there is, but if there is, that's creepy as shit. Um, also, this is going to be coming at you guys kind of weird. Um, this is going to be, um, without a green screen. This is the other side of my green screen and it's blue. Plus, look at this. I have a shirt that isn't just dark black. And it's kind of semi-okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, this, yeah. So I, I might do this. I might just put this in the corner if I ever want to wear, like, a blue shirt. Because sometimes I want to wear a blue shirt. And I can't wear a blue shirt when there's green screen. Because this, this light blue shirt will turn ultra dark blue. Almost to the point of it looking black. Because it takes away all the light uh, greens out of it. Which is blue. There's greens in this, believe it or not. At least the chroma key sees something like that. Anyway, back to recapping. So, found all the armor that I wanted to wear, added legendary prefixes into the armor via console commands, and then to make sure that I didn't lose out on any armor um, rating, you know how you get like, you know, your gauntlets, your heavy gauntlets give you like a, a massive armor rating opposed to your normal gauntlets, they give you kind of a meh armor rating. So how I countered that is I went to my perks and I gave myself max toughness. So I have 50 resistance now, which kind of makes up for the... Honestly, we're still very much in the negative to where we were. I do believe we had like 280 um, damage resistance based on all of our armor. Um, and now it's around 100 and, uh, 
180 or 170 but we also have that 50 extra damage the 50 extra damage resistance which is also you know it boosts up to it boosts us up to where we kind of were um and yeah <laughs> done oh and i downloaded another mod well not really i downloaded a mod unintentionally and i didn't really like it was one of those mods where it was saying that you need to download this mod if you want to use my mod so i was like okay so i just did that turns out the mod that i downloaded um was a mod that allows you to basically customize any armor in the game so what i mean by customize i don't mean change the look of it but i mean add bonuses to each armor so for instance this mod allows you to customize every outfit in the game kind of I, th I haven't tested that but i would imagine it allows you to customize every outfit in the game adding um a ballistic weave um, and then also adding things like deep pockets like for instance my flannel shirt has deep pockets which is not a an outfit clothing is not supposed to be able to have that in it for what reason i don't know it would make complete sense for ballistic weave to work on any cloth armor plus it would make sense for uh for you to have deep pockets it's cloth if anything you could easily make pockets i, I don't know anyways um so I, I, that's a mod that i didn't i don't feel like it's overpowered i feel like it should have been in the game in the base game and I, it's in the game now boom it just works it just works Todd Howard it just works ah <laughs> um what else happened also I ended up going back and finishing up the uh, Institute mission to where we were because I had to load a save um, and then I got I got the one companion the black companion the one who's like a synth robot guy um, I went and got him so yeah we have him in our like house now um, when will I get around to him I don't know, to tell you the truth. I'm not really sure when we'll actually get around to maxing that companion out. Maybe in the next sitting we'll do it. Uh, but actually, again, like I kind of hinted at, I have to go uh, right after we're done, right after, right after I'm done editing this video, I have to make sure that I go into Fallout, max out, pal and dance all over again, which should take two hours, which is just great. Um, and then I'll show that to you guys. Uh, so, plans, goals. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So I got that companion. I got the synth companion. Um, and weirdly enough, when I went to go get Curie as a companion, um, it gave us this quest called Something Divided. Uh, we end up doing it in the next sitting, which just don't worry about. It. You got it will make sense to you guys. I just have to edit it to make sense, I guess. <laughs> Anyways, um, so yeah, it was kind of weird. As soon as I got Curie as a companion, that mission procked. I loaded my save a bunch of times just to check, and it's true. Whenever I like got curious companion for some reason that quest was available weird oh and in that play session where i was just trying to mess around and kill time the reason why i was making the video and the reason why I, we weren't doing anything really significant is because i was just trying to tell you guys that fallout was going to be put on kind of hold okay so the purpose for what the video was again i, I told you guys that i'm doing this kind of like hi guys <laughs> video of the rundown of a play session where it took me 30 minutes to explain what i had to say um, so the other point, so I wanted to talk to you guys about the mod I installed, um, the upgrades I made to my character, or the changes I made to my character, um, the fact that I got the synth guy, and he's in our party now, he's not gonna be, he's not gonna be our companion for a while, but I got him, um, and the other thing was for me to tell you guys that the Fallout 4 was gonna be put on hold for a little bit, but that is now incorrect, <laughs> because I made that video, uh, I think four days ago, and I just recorded a massive Fallout play session last night, so... Yeah, it doesn't hold any weight anymore because I, yeah. Essentially, all I was saying was that um, a lot of people were didn't have Fallout for a while. People were wondering if I, if I just stopped, but I didn't stop. Uh, I actually ended up just going back and doing some Assassin's Creed because I haven't done any Assassin's Creed in a hell of a long time, and I wanted to make sure that people didn't think I gave up on that series because I didn't. So I did that, and yeah, I think that's pretty much it, guys. I just want to let you guys know that, to recap downloaded some mods changed my character um he is now almost where he was maybe a little bit less in terms of having defense like armor and etc we have the one synth guy you guys will be getting the paladin dance video uh right after this one and i was telling you guys that you guys were not going to be getting fallout because the division beta was happening but the beta is over and i just made a bunch of fallout videos so that destroys my thought because i thought since the beta would come out i would have no time because I would play so much uh, beta, division beta, sorry, that I wouldn't be having enough time to play Fallout. Not the case. As soon as the beta was over, I edited some videos, jumped back up on Fallout, and here's the video. <laughs> so it didn't really work out the way I thought it would. Wasn't that bad. Overreacted. Anyways, and then this is this video. So what took me 30 minutes, 34 minutes, to talk about in, 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 in a gameplay let's play, 
took me 11 minutes, and I still gotta edit this shit down, because I did ramble a little bit. But damn, much smoother, I'd hope. Um, and yeah, on a side note, this is completely irrelevant to what we talked about, but do you guys mind this? I think actually I might be in the left corner. If we do, like, what do you guys hate if I if I wasn't transparent right here? Like, you know how I usually, you know, I have the game cropped out? What if I was just a tiny square in the corner? Like, would you guys be okay with this? Because this would allow me to wear different shirts other than black, white, and gray. Don't get me wrong, I love black, white, and gray, but I also have shirts that I don't wear like this one, and I like it a lot. It's like a hoodie sweater, long sleeve shirt, whatever it is, I like it, but hey. On a side note, this is turning into a Let's Talk, which is not what it's supposed to be, but this weekend, it's weird for me. Um, I like having short hair, like my sides, I like my hair, my side of my hair being short. Um, I actually took a razor, because I ended up getting like a beard shaving razor, like a solid one that has like seven different attachments to it to make your beard perfect and like trim it to perfect perfection. So I got that, it's like 50 bucks. But it also came with like a hair shaver. So one night I was just annoyed because I like having my hair short and it wasn't short. So I just took a fucking buzzer and just went to town and started just like, bah, bah, just taking off chunks of my hair. And when I first did it, I just had like a heart attack. I was just like, Zzz. like I, you can't go back. So I was just like, oh God. But then again, um, if you've ever been to the hairdresser and you ever had like your hair shaved, there's always that period of being that you look at yourself in the mirror and you're like, what the fuck is happening? Okay. No, it's okay. <laughs> it worked out. Um, so that was kind of what it was, but I like it. I, I never, I don't practice any like hair cutting classes or anything like that, but I did it. That thing looks pretty good. A lot of gel here for some reason. Why is there so much gel there? There we go looks less less sticky <laughs> anyways so yeah i just thought that was pretty cool i thought i'd tell you guys about that i've never cut my hair i cut my hair and i don't think it looks too bad not the worst my faux hawk skills are, are in a not great spot because i haven't done the faux hawk thing in a while that's a whole story behind that you guys will fi find out about in the next two three videos two to three videos from now i think i talk about that depends if i leave it in the video Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching as always. My name is Frost, and be sure to tell me if you guys do like this type of face cam. Like this face cam that's kind of cropped with a nice color background, a blue background. It's the only background that I can kind of offer to you, so hopefully you guys are cool with that. Um, anyways, guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed this, and hopefully you check out the next video. Bye, guys. Also, liking the video is a thing. People ask me to remind them that, so I'm going to do that, even though I don't feel entirely morally in the right doing it. Bye. <laughs> ah. I mean, I see the value in it. Some people forget. People just want a reminder. I get it, but I just feel dirty doing it. There are hard decisions ahead for all of us. But for you especially. I know that you